girl, this hurts. Through. Girl, this hurts through again. You know you look through. We need to hurry up. Do something to this girl. Make sure you catch me from my good side. What's up y'all, my kid here, and so today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be using bentonite clay on my hair while I have twist installed. Now, if you guys want to see how I do this on my hair, you guys should continue to watch. Okay, let me give you guys a little bit of a breakdown of what's going on with my hair. So, I started wearing mini twists, let's say, I think I want to say since last year, I've been wearing twists in my head like full time on off I don't take my hair down I just wear a twist um, in my head since last year okay so just about a month and a half ago I put in mini braids because I wanted to see if I could try to do my same routine but do it in braids because I wanted to have a more minimalist approach to um, taking care of my hair because I have a busy busy lifestyle now and I don't really I thought at the time I didn't have that much time to dedicate detailed time to taking care of twists I felt like braids would be easy which they were but I might do a video of why I switched back to mini twists or the or mini braids over mini twists or whatever I might do that y'all let me know down below y'all like to see that or just let me know I was just like well I want to go back to the twist because I feel like the twist will be easier to take care of and then I just have more of a direct routine and more specific and precise pr routine on how I can take care of my hair now why I decided to do a um, detoxing clay wash bentonite clay wash on my head because I have never done a bentonite clay wash on my head before. I've used clay before I used Razul clay, but I haven't used it in a very, very, very long time. And my hair really needs a detox. Y'all, my hair is screaming for something. Like, you guys, look at my hair. My hair is just through. Now, the braids were moisturized and everything. I moisturize my hair every week same way I did the twist but it was a little bit different but y'all my hair is just screaming for something else done to it it's just screaming for it so it's just like what to do I just don't know what to do so I felt like okay well let's do us a bentonite clay wash and you know let's detox it we're gonna do the same thing with the skin because my skin is the root but like sure let's let's document it let's put it on there let's get it let's get this out so that's what I did let me give you guys an overview of what my hair is looking like and then we're gonna jump right into everything this is what the front of my hair is looking like my hair is very short in the front um, being that from the past I used to not really moisturize my hair and I'm still really not moisturizing my hair as much as I should but I'm getting a lot better it's getting better so but the size in the back is very long. But I'm still, I'm seeing growth. It's just, I want more growth. But this is what the front is looking like. Without being it being washed or anything. And this is what the back and the sides is looking like. And I do have an old video on my channel on how I used to detangle my hair. I will link it up above if you guys uh, want to check that out. See if it will be helpful for you. This is how I used to detangle my hair. But since my hair has got longer... I want to, you know, switch it up. Okay, now we're done with the details. I'm about to jump right into this. So first things first, I am going to be doing a pre-pouring session on my hair, which I'm just going to put some oils on my scalp and my hair and let my hair do what it's going to do. Let it do its magic.
And when I get all the oils on my head, I am going to give myself a little bit of a massage. And I'm just going to put a bag over my head and let my hair um, cook and do what it's going to do. I do sit on the dryer a little bit for about 30 minutes. And while my hair is sitting up under this bag, I am going to be making my clay. So starting off, I start with a half a cup of bentonite clay and I will the next time add about a fourth of it to make it three fourths just to give me a little bit more. And then I took a fourth of a cup of aloe vera juice and I put that in there and then I'm going to go in with the same amount of apple cider vinegar. And then to add a little bit of moisture, I'm going to add some glycerin. And then I'm going to add about a tablespoon of oil. Oh yeah, I add about the same amount, a tablespoon of glycerin as well. And I'm just going to mix this together. And the consistency that I want, I want like a yogurt consistency. I don't want it too thick and I don't really want it really loose because again, I have twist in my head. I just want it to be able to go on my hair without dripping everywhere. But I don't want it really, really thick that I can't wash it out. So I just want a yogurt consistency. And this is pretty much it. So now that I finished letting my hair set, this is what my hair looking like when I put water on it. I just rinsed out that oil. And next I'm just going to be taking my hair and sectioning my hair off. I think it's best to work in sections even when you have twists or braids. I think it's really, really best. And I'm just taking all my shorter hair and I'm putting it all into a section and I'm gonna work on my longer hairs now. So I just take my clay and I wanna make sure I focus it on the roots all the way down to the ends. And I just make sure I really, really, really get this onto the scalp. My scalp really needs some love. Y'all, my scalp is just, oh, my hair just been acting crazy. And when you are applying products to twist, you just kind of want to gently um, put the um, hair in the palm of your hands and you kind of do want to do like a sponge, use your hair like a sponge. And I just split the parts, the section in half and just make sure each twist is covered. Each area of my head on that side is covered. And this is a close up of the front. So I'm just going to split that section in half because it's really thick. This is the thickest part of my head. I split that section in half. And then I'm just going to take the clay and I'm just going to make sure I get this all over the place. And when I get all of it applied, I just want to go back through and make sure each twist is coated. That's why I said I wanted to make a little bit more. And I just went back through and made sure every area was covered. Y'all, I just wanted this to sit on my head really, really good. And I let this sit on my head for about 30 minutes. And this is what my hair is looking like with all of the clay on my hair. Okay, you guys, this is my hair done with all 
of the clay and then conditioner out of my hair. My hair is so freaking soft. I love how my hair came out. My hair feels rejuvenated, it feels fresh, it feels clean. It feels just so nice. The curls at the ends are just popping. It looked like it got some life in it. I'm trying not to touch my hair as much with my nails because my nails need to be done. So. But anyway, that's off the topic. But y'all, I just love, 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 love how my hair came out. So now I am going to prep my hair for styling. And that's a whole nother step within itself. I'm going to do that later. But you guys, I am going to be implementing this in my routine. Like again, I've never done this before. And now I just, I have to continue to do it. I, made a, I did a couple hiccups along the way, things I would change, and the things I will change, I will let you guys know. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. My hair has been taking me all day to do. So, yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know down below what you guys like to see next. And you guys remember to love, embrace, celebrate who you are. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.